Hey guys, so this is really hard to do. First of all, before coffee, I thought I would try my hand out of what I eat in a day. <laughs> Pepe is here. Anyway, but I'm going to be doing a realistic what I eat in a day. I'm going to show you what I actually eat in an entire day, which is not necessarily healthy. Uh, another warning, I am vegetarian, so... Yep, I kind of get annoyed when I see what I eat in a day videos and they're like super curated. They obviously planned out their meals to be really, really healthy. And that's just not realistic for the average person. Anyway, I'm going to heat up some water while we discuss because I'm going to be making some coffee. I'm going to be filming this video vlog style because that's just more me. I'm not, as you guys know, an artistic kind of channel. Um, yeah, I just thought I would take you around on my day and we would eat some food together. I would show you what I'm going to make for lunch and dinner and things and just explain my day. Um, this is a sponsored video by Four Sigmatic, which I was actually really excited about because I saw Sarah's Vegan Kitchen talk about Four Sigmatic and anything she talks about, I'm like, what is that? But anyway, I researched it actually weeks and weeks ago and I was like, I really want to try that. Um, and then they reached out to me to do a video with them. So I'm very excited because I love mushrooms, although their products do not taste like mushrooms. So don't, you know, if you're not a fan of mushrooms, that's okay. You'll probably still like these because they don't taste like mushrooms. They're basically coffees, cocos, elixirs, just drinks, some teas. Um, and they have mushrooms in them, which is actually a superfood, and then they mix it with other kinds of superfoods. So it's a really easy way to like drink them and then get the benefits that you would get from them. For coffee today, I'm going to be drinking the mushroom coffee mix uh, with lion's mane and chaga. This actually has half the amount of caffeine that normal coffee has, so we're going to see how long I can last with just one cup of this. But, you know, I have a whole box, so if I need to go back for more, I will. So this coffee and the ingredients within it, the superfoods, the lion's mane and chaga are good for focus. It mentions to drink this when you need to go to work or school or things where you just need a little brain boost. So today is actually a work day for me, so I'm going to be needing a little focus today. I actually didn't sleep that much last night. I guess I slept enough. I like to get nine hours. I don't know about any of you guys. Um, it's 7 15 a.m. right now. Um, I've actually been sleeping in lately, so today's a good day. We got up at seven. We're doing good. I'm going to be using my thrifted mug. I just really like the pattern. So, yep. I have tried one of their products already. I haven't tried the coffee. This is actually going to be a first taste test today. All their products, by the way, are also instant and vegan. So I'll have a link for you guys down below if you want to check them out. You can get 15% off your order, so check that out. I'm going to make it like I make all my coffee every morning with creamer. It's actually going to be kind of like a routine video as well because I'm going to be showing you how I go about my day, what my morning routine looks like. When you just try to burn your house down. This is my favorite creamer of all time, by the way. Like I said, this is a realistic. This is my real life how I actually drink my coffee and eat my food. Mmm, that is delicious. Yeah, you cannot taste mushrooms at all, first of all. It tastes just like a really nice, good coffee. So today, like I mentioned, it's a work day. I'm going to be doing a bunch of video things. Um, I'm planning uh, all my videos for September and October because that is the busiest time of year for me as you guys know. Um, a little quick announcement, I will be doing Vlogtober 2018. So I'll have a link to my vlog channel of course down below um, if you want to watch me vlog every single day. I actually discovered a new podcast that I really like. I thought I would just share it with you. Um, it's this guy, Jim Quick, and his podcast Quick Brain. It's so good. They're like really inspirational. I like to listen to these a lot uh, while I go on like shorter walks because they're all kind of like shorter ep episodes. But I think I'm gonna listen to one of these uh, while I sit and drink my coffee and then maybe I'll do a little no sleep when I go on my walk. Clearly I love me some no sleep. I listen to every episode. <laughs> Okay, I did about a 30 minute walk today, felt amazing. Now it's time for some breakfast. So in the toaster oven right now, we have two slices of Dave's 
thin sliced bread, which means I'm gonna be hungry later, like really soon after eating this. I like a light toast on mine personally. So this is something that I've been eating pretty much every day since I discovered this particular item. Um, so yeah, I've been having toast pretty much every day. It's one of my favorite go-tos and there's no dairy, so that's a plus. So the first thing I start out with, you're probably like, what the heck is this? It's actually avocado ranch um, and I actually have an intolerance to avocado. So when I do recipe videos in the future for like breakfast ideas and things, I'm gonna do like no smoothie, no oatmeal, all savory, no avocado, no egg, because I also have an intolerance to eggs sometimes. Anyway, that's for the future though. For right now, this doesn't have too much avocado in it to activate my intolerance. It's like very minor, but it tastes so good. I put it in this little jar because I like to drizzle it on tacos, salads, wraps, um, power bowls. I like to make it look aesthetic with the dressing. So I put it in a squeeze bottle. I'll put a picture of what it actually looks like at the store though, if you wanna get it. It's in the refrigerated section and the produce section. Um, but it is dairy free, but it has eggs in it, so it's not vegan. Again, not enough egg to activate my intolerance. I just get really bad stomach pains when I eat avocado, bananas, and eggs. Anyone else? Anyway, I take it and I just boop, 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 drizzle it on the bread. Can you tell I don't know how to film what I eat in a day videos? I just, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't do a lot of recipe videos on my channel, as you guys know. So this is a new journey for us both. So you're probably thinking, wow, that's really weird. You use ranch as a spread. And you're right, it's a little weird. It gets weirder though, so stay tuned. <laughs> Next up, I take Zatar seasoning. Someone made fun of me for saying Zatar. It's spelled like this, um, but I think someone said you pronounced it like water. So it's like Zatar, Zatar. Zatter, Zatter. But I am obsessed with this. I find mine at World Market and then I just put it in a little seasoning jar like this. So I put a generous application of this. I take a little bit of salt on it, just like barely anything. And then usually I'll top it with like vegan bacon bits or green onions, which are my favorite. I wanted to put chives on it because I love chives on it too. They didn't have any fresh chives, so I had these like lightly dried chives um that aren't that good actually <laughs> there you have my toast my weird fancy toast if i wish you could smell this right now it smells so good you need to try zatter seasoning it's amazing super savory the texture is just amazing because of the sesame seed in the zatter seasoning and then the nut bread like the seed bread it's just so good and so savory but i'm definitely going to be hungry in like an hour after i eat this <laughs> Okay, so I finished up my morning routine. I took a shower, I feel rejuvenated. Um, I do have a no, make no Makeup Monday to film today, so I'm not gonna put makeup on until later. But I thought we should eat some raspberries, cause like I said, I'd be hungry, but I just wanna eat these raspberries. Um, and we'll have a little chat, shall we? I already rinsed these, by the way, in the packaging, cause I'm gonna eat all of them. I just wanted to talk about like how vulnerable filming a what I eat in a day video really is, because food to me is so personal. And there's always going to be people that are going to tell you that you're doing something wrong. Granted, it's fine to have an opinion about how someone eats, but to tell them how to eat or tell them what they're doing wrong, I don't think is necessarily fair. And even my friend Tasha, when I tweeted that I was going to be doing this video, she was like, you know, I got a lot of hate even though I like didn't show pretty much everything. Um, and these videos do get a lot of hate. I just feel like the majority of people when they do these videos, they don't show the reality of what they're actually eating because they don't want to get hate. I'm sure there's going to be people saying, oh, you don't eat enough fruit, you don't eat enough protein, you eat too much sodium. Probably, you know, probably. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I have seen some that aren't curated, that are just genuine and not always healthy, and I love those. So I wanted to join, like, that community of, like, not being perfect because that's not life. You know, my background's not aesthetic, but this is my real life. This is my kitchen, how it looks. The only thing I did is I cleaned the counter because it was a mess. I've changed like three times in this video already. I normally don't go through clothing this 
fast. It's just the other outfits weren't working for the video. I found a hole in my shirt. You might have seen it in that clip, so I changed my shirt. It's 11.15 now. I've edited this video up until this point, actually, which I need to cut it down. It's getting too lengthy. We just got through breakfast and snacks, so. But I filmed and edited so far, so now it's time to eat some lunch. I don't know what I'm gonna eat yet. I'm thinking either tacos, a burrito, a wrap. I'm not sure what I'm feeling. I think for dinner, I'm gonna make barbecue chickpeas uh, for a wrap and then a side of balsamic Brussels sprouts because I make that all the time. So, and I have the ingredients, so I wanna make that tonight. But for lunch, I don't know if I should eat a wrap or burrito or taco because that's just a lot of tortillas in my life. That's reality though. You know, I sometimes, some days I eat a lot of tortillas. So let's go browse the kitchen and see what I'm feeling. Okay, so I'm gonna make some kind of taco, I think, uh, with the crumbles, which these are so delicious. I put them in so much. Um, Taco Bell taco seasoning just at the store, so good. Salsa, we got the avocado ranch. Like I said, this is gonna be in like every meal, just so you're warned. <laughs> Grill some mushrooms, I think, and then to add that in or add it on top of the taco, I don't really know. We have like a cabbage mixture I'm gonna add. Okay, while those cook, I'm going to tear into a kombucha. This is my favorite flavor, the Health Aid Pink Lady Apple. But I only drink half a bottle per day, so I'll drink half of this today and then the other half tomorrow, but this is what I'm gonna drink for now. I made some two delicious looking tacos that I'm going to inhale. Basically, it's the taco mixture, the the uh, beef crumbles, whatever, the taco seasoning. I added mushrooms into that. The cabbage mixture, uh, salsa, and the avocado ranch. I changed clothing yet again. I'm hitting kind of a wall right now. It's 2 p.m. It's 1.56, actually. I made another coffee um, to get me through. I normally don't like to drink caffeine past 12 um and i normally do one coffee a day but i the, today is like a super hectic work day like there's so much that i still need to do <laughs> baby's coming back anytime i'm talking anyway i just thought i'd update you since i'm sharing everything that i eat and consume and drink today that i did make a second coffee Pepe, please don't jump up there right now just to you know give me a little bit of a pick me up uh for the afternoon slump because I always hit an afternoon slump around two to four it's usually really difficult um so I try to do as much as possible before then but it's it's real right now so I need this coffee so bad hello guys it is uh 3 p.m now and I need a snack I'm feeling a little peckish and it's not quite dinner time so I'll probably have like dinner around 6 p.m but I made this, which they look like little meatballs right now. Ryan had made these for me because he had a recipe um, that ne called for meat. And so he made these, which were nut burgers, basically. It's like ground almonds, uh, onion, carrot, and then like vegetable stock base, like the solid veggie stock that you can get. Um, so he made these little balls for me. And then the sauce is like a lemonade marinade. I don't know how to explain it further than that because I didn't make it. So I'm just having some leftovers for a snack. I thought I would update you guys on that. I'm feeling very hungry. I haven't been eating that much today because I've been working so long and like editing so much, but I finished the video for tomorrow. So, oh man, it's so good. Okay guys, it's finally the evening time, which is my favorite time to eat because I just, I don't know, I eat most of my calories. I feel in the evening time. Anyway, I just love cooking dinners. I feel like that's just when, when I thrive. Today's actually kind of a simple dinner. I'll probably snack later this evening. Um, it's about like 5.30 right now, I think. So I'm gonna get started on dinner, so it'll be ready around 6.15-ish. Going to be making barbecue chickpeas and like put it in a wrap, which I love making barbecue chickpeas or just like seasoned chickpeas uh, roasted in the oven because they are crunchy and they're super hearty, so they're really good for vegans or vegetarians, and they're really good for you. So they add like a meaty 
texture. I use it a lot to make like fake tuna salad. Um, love me some chickpeas or garbanzo beans, whatever. And then I'm also going to be making balsamic Brussels sprouts, which is my specialty. It is my like favorite food in the world is Brussels sprouts. If you don't like Brussels sprouts, you need to try them how I make them because I think it is superior. <laughs> it sounds so cocky. But honestly, I struggle eating other people's Brussels sprouts like at restaurants because I think mine are better. It's just something that I feel like I know how to cook at least for my taste level. I do overcook them just a little bit, so that's usually why I don't like restaurant Brussels sprouts. I don't know why I'm going on tangent about Brussels sprouts. This video is long enough. One thing I'm really disappointed in though is I need to learn my lesson and not get like teriyaki barbecue sauce. Anytime it has any kind of pineapple in it, I don't like it. But I'm gonna be making like a maple sriracha barbecue thing with the chickpeas. Also, I like to get 50% less sodium whenever I can, or just like less sodium beans in a can. Here are the glorious Brussels sprouts. They're not actually in season right now. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and prep everything and then get it all in the oven. Obviously this isn't the most attractive or aesthetic uh, dish in the world, but this is a realistic dinner for me. It's kind of like a lot of things going on. So in here we have the chickpeas um, with the cabbage mix, mix again. I like to eat my like salad things and like produce as fast as possible because it goes bad so quickly. And then the ranch, of course, in there. And then for a side salad to eat more greens, I have this spinach and arugula mix, which I really love and really into arugula lately. So instead of the avocado ranch, because I feel like I don't want to overdo it, I put some of this on top, which is submarine dressing but it's an oil-based dressing that you put on sandwiches, which that's delicious that way, but also you can use it in salads too. Who says you can't, right? I use it kind of like a vinaigrette. I have mushrooms in here as well because I have a bunch of mushrooms, and then I put um, some of these sunflower seeds in there. I have that container and then pumpkin seeds, but I was feeling the sunflower seeds today. Uh, these are old pasta jars that I repurposed to buy nuts, so that's how I store my nuts. <laughs> and then for the Brussels sprouts, I like to have them kind of crispy, um, and then I coat them. All I do is bake them with some seasonings. You can use whatever seasonings you like, and then I top it with some Trader Joe's balsamic glaze. This stuff is magic. Sorry my AC is on in the background, it's quite loud. I am thinking about investing in a lapel mic so I can have better audio in my videos. I feel like that's something I'm really lacking. Anyway, before I eat and like sit down because I'm gonna like pretty much chill the rest of the night and not wanna talk too much, um, I do wanna point out that this 
day is not an accurate representation of how I actually eat. You'd have to watch me eat for like a whole week to really know my favorite foods and like what my diet is like. So, you know, take this video with a grain of salt. Don't judge my entire diet based on these things because I don't eat these things every day, obviously, besides the toast maybe. So, you know, just keep that in mind when you're watching this video that this isn't the same thing every single day so i do obviously switch it up who eats the same things every single day like for every meal okay guys it is the end of this video it's the end of the day actually it's like 7 10 and i would normally do this kind of routine closer to bedtime but i didn't want to lose the lighting because the lighting in my house after the sun sets is just horrendous and it's big brother night so i really want to watch big brother so anyway i am boiling some water Again, let's hope I don't, you know, try to burn the house down, leave the stove on. I'm going to be trying out the Four Sigmatic Reishi Mushroom Elixir. It says chill with Reishi, so it's more of like calming, um, it's like super chill. I also want to point out that on the bottom it says you can mix in with nut milk, smoothies. Um, this one you can mix with cacao powder. You can also blend them into things, mix them with coconut oil, whatever suits your fancy. They're super versatile, so let's try this one out. From Based on the like ingredients, it seems like it's going to be kind of tea-like because it has rose hips and field mint. It doesn't look like it's sweetened, so I'll probably put some agave in there. They also sent me a sampler pack that has eight different things, including a hot chocolate. I've had this eye twitch going on all day. I think I've sat at my computer way too long. I'm gonna try it first without sweetening it just to see what the flavor profile is like. I think I made this too hot again. I'm not used to boil out. Oh, yeah, it's too hot. It, it tastes like a black tea to me, so it definitely needs some sweetener because I don't take my tea unsweetened. And I just have the organic agave in the raw. It's weird, it almost tastes like coffee or like a dark tea but there's no caffeine, it's meant for like chilling out and going to sleep. So if you're a person that likes coffee and tea, you would definitely like the Rishi. I think my favorite is definitely the coffee, but the Rishi tastes really good too. So if you click the link in my description, you will get 15% off your first order. They have a lot of amazing reviews. Take a browse through the website. You can narrow it down based on type of mushroom or whatever type of effect or boost that you're looking for. Honestly, after drinking two of the coffees in the day, I was able to complete everything that I need to. Can you hear my upstairs neighbor right now? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this what I eat in a day video. Let me know if you want me to do more of these or different types of these also if you'd like me to do more recipe type videos I do have some planned but of course if, it, if you don't think it's my thing on my channel we don't need to do it but I'd love to explore more I love cooking and I love food obviously so yeah let me know down below all your thoughts and I will talk to you soon bye